This is a patient who comes in with hematuria, and so we do our standard hematuria protocol, which consists of a non-contrast CT followed by a CT scan of the ad during the nephrographic and delayed excretory phase. So let's look at our non-contrast phase. So we scroll downwards, not much uh, to see in the upper abdomen. So we go down to the pelvis, and we focus on the bladder. We can see quite clearly there's a, a midline bladder mass, soft tissue attenuation, um, that's protruding into the uh, lumen of the bladder, and there's uh, perhaps a component that's uh, exophytic as well, certainly involved in the bladder wall over there. We'll look at our nephrographic phase. We scroll through the kidneys, and now at our excretory phase, as we go downwards, we can see that uh, there's clear enhancement associated with this. So we have an enhancing mass that is located uh, in the anterior bladder wall near the bladder dome, uh, invading into the wall and perhaps exophytically also uh, into the soft tissues uh, anterior to that. And so this is compatible with the neoplasm. Now most of these bladder neoplasms will be these urothelial carcinomas. However, given the location of this, uh, one of the things to think about is an adenocarcinoma arising from a portion of the urachus. And um, this was resected, and this indeed turned out to be an adenocarcinoma of the urachus. They can certainly have uh, soft tissue attenuation. They can have cystic components, sometimes calcifications. They can be uh, quite aggressive. Overall, though, they are rare neoplasms, but something to think about in the bladder when you see this sort of mass at uh, the anterior bladder wall in the region of the bladder dome.